a reward for all the investment you made lately. I mean, you bought a ton of yearlings the last year, this year. Just the moments you kind of... No, I don't know if the word is reward. I think it's more of a blessing. I like, yeah. like you know, you know, I feel so happy yet, you know, for Todd. I'm so happy for Irad. I'm so happy for Minnie and Teresa, my other partners. I'm so happy for Ed Rosen, who you know for a long, long time, and Jim Martin, who are amazing and been in this game for 40, 50, 60 years, and they know so much history about the game. And a girl like Danielle Bricker, who works for me, who's, you know, you know, 30, and you, know, you get two opposite ends of the spectrum. You get 75 and 30. It's so cool. And um, we have a great team, man. And uh, I got so many great family, friends, and, uh, you know, I'm so blessed. And these are just reminders of, how, gr how great life is and uh, how blessed I am. How about the, uh, you're a New York guy, you've always talked about the Travers, the Belmont, how about the Kentucky Derby? You know, look forward to being in the picture for that and maybe getting that on the mantle. You know, I, listen, we've, we've, we've won so many special Raiders races, uh, um, a couple of Breeders' Cup, uh, three Breeders' Cups now, we won the Belmont, we won the Wood, the Cigar Mile, the, uh, the Alabama twice, the Coaching Club twice, oh my God, I'm so blessed. Um, let's not forget the Jim Dandy and the Travers, by the way. Coach, um, yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, I can't tell you, I wouldn't love to win the Kentucky Derby. Um, and when you start winning races for the second time, that people aren't supposed to win once, yeah. I mean, you got to pinch yourself. So yeah, I mean, you know, do I want to win the Kentucky Derby? Yes. You know, have I done so much in racing where, uh, you know what, if someone else wins it, I'm going to be happy for them too. My final, if I ask one final thing, just... Uh, I, I just want to say one thing, I want to say one thing. Like, I, I lost with chocolate gelato today. Yeah. And, um, and obviously you're upset when you lose. Yeah. But, um, but I saw Len Green win it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Len Green is in his 80s, 85. And... Um, uh, I was introduced to him because he wanted me to speak at Babson College for being an entrepreneur. So I've been yeah. speaking to him for, uh, you know, I had been school for three or four years. So as I realized I lost and I realized he won, you know, listen, he's 85 years old, man. I, I'll tell you, I was, that was, I felt really great. And uh, Ed Rosen and Barbara Rosen are really good friends with them. And I was, yeah. and I text him, you know, congratulations. And, you know, listen, for a guy like that at 85, winning a race like this, couldn't be any happier. How about the decision? I know after the hopeful you were talking about maybe the champagne, maybe come to the Breeders. It seems like going to the Breeders was the right decision. You know, we, we came here to win this race. Yeah. That was the whole plan. Get him a race over the track, get him in a battle, get him here. Like, that was it. Yeah. And again, when you, when you talk to Todd and, you know, between me and him, we overanalyze to a certain level yeah. and, uh, you know, we go back and forth. We even entered, you know, I mean, it's just uh, pretty special. So, uh, we made the right decision, and you know we, uh, you know we, we take a lot of pride in um, talking with our team, mm -hmm. listen, listening for input, and coming up with the hopefully what we think is the right answer or the best answer. But sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. I say it worked for Vino Russell. We yeah. took him out of California in May. Same thing, same logic. And we're not afraid to do it. We're always trying to get like one step ahead. And I have one more question. Why <coughs> you said yes, you'd like to win the Derby, but you had a really your extended family, Vinny uh, Viola, did win the Derby. Since then, and seeing what he went through, does that have any impact? Does that make you want one for yourself? You know, I'm just thinking yeah. that he's buying a lot more horses now. No, you know what? Honestly, when Vinny won the Derby, it felt like I won the Derby. You know, it, it's um, you root for each other. There's so many people in this game you root for. So I don't think it made it made me want it to win it more. But I'll just tell you how great of a friend Vinny is. When Vinny won the Derby, he said, "Mike, I so want this for you." And that's that's a great friendship. I'm happy for him, and he still wants something for myself. So, you know, I think I think that you know we're great friends, great partners, and uh, you know, listen, uh, I've gotten so many blessings in life. And if uh, if the Derby comes, I'll take it, and if it doesn't come, I'll be happy for the person who gets it.